Go to your internet. I use Safari. It's the uh, normal uses a web browser. Use doesn't matter whether it's Google Australia or Google Canada or just normal Google.com. Um, and search the icon like the uh, uh, icon file you want. I might make one for v um, let's do one for volume. So I'll probably need speakers or something. Just search volume. Um, okay, let's search speakers. Computer speaker. Um, search about medium size images if you can't find one on the first page. Okay, that will be medium size, so let's go all sizes. Um, let's try these ones. Because this is just an example, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. So copy it, actually. Open Photoshop, which I've already done, and just drag the image. So make Safari a little bit smaller. Open Photoshop. Bring Safari to the front. And just drag that image in. And it should open. Uh, just get uh, this tool here, the Magnetic Lasso tool in Photoshop CS3 Extended and just go around the images that you want so that way you're not getting extra any white parts or anything quick two second job around the thing and if you hold down the oops it's the shift key just worked that out I know it was one of them. Um, go around the other thing if you have two objects. If you only have one, it's a lot easier. Whoops. Okay, so let's go around that. And up and around here. Okay, so you got two speakers with the line, moving line around them. Do control C. So now, put that into a window, then minimize it so it appears down here on Photoshop. Now go new file. I already have a, um, yeah, Rocket Doc icons, yeah. Rocket Doc icons. Um, make sure the background uh, is transparent, not white or background colour. Just do transparent. 8 bytes RGB colour um, resolution. It's 300 pixels inch um, slash inches, but I've changed, so if I go, that would say 300. Oh. Whoops. Okay, 300. But then if I change back to centimetres, this is what it is. Wait. 300. And then, so that's 118.11. And height, 256, width, 256, 56 pixels. Um, okay, and you don't have to, you can just name it on title because you can save as later and all that stuff. So go okay. Okay, um... So now you got this. It's Control V for paste. They look a bit big. You do Control T and just desize them. That's tr Control T is um, all it is is um, uh, free transform. It's just a shortcut key. So now you've made them to fit and try and center them or do whatever you want with the picture. Um, I'm gonna do. Um, kind of this thing 
thing around it, I'll just do a shapes, apply, okay, sh shapes, uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a, yeah, let's do a circle. Oops. Um, drag that circle and put it behind them. And I'm gonna make the circle a blue color. There we go. And see on the slayer if we zoom in by um, pressing Z on the keyboard instead of, or you can just do that. And if you go E for eraser, or you can just click that. I know most of the shortcuts in Photoshop. Just go around any white bits that may look make it look bad. Zoom out again, check if you've missed any out here. Yeah, there's one about there. E again. Um, zoom again, actual pixels I'm pressing, if you can't see. Okay, I'll just do two bits in this area and then we're done. Okay, zoom, actual pixels. So that's about it. Um, I'm only, this is the worst icon I've ever dreamed of, but... It's just to give you an example on how to do it. And now, go File. Once you're done, um, do this. File, Save As. Change that to PNG. Then you can change the name from here. Volume. YouTube. Okay. Um... Save to desktop, yep. If you want to, you can save it as a PDD as well for, um, sorry, PSD for, um, Photoshop, so if you want to edit it later, but yeah. You can always edit the PNG, but then it won't be in layers. Um, okay. And bring this up and close it. Um, so, I hope this has helped with the uh, volume uh, icon, if you're doing one, but um, mainly I just did this just to get you used to Rocket Dock. That was the crappiest uh, volume uh, icon I've ever seen. Um, it's just two speakers and a blue blue circle. Uh, so, open with picture and fax your... Yep, that's what it looks like, and I'll show what it looks like on here. And the way to get it into the thing is you go cut, or copy, whatever you want. Go to my computer, local C. I've got a shortcut to local C, can't be stuff. So if to my computer, it's just local disk. Uh, program files. Uh, go, uh, press R until you reach Rocket Dock. For me, it's four times. Um... I icons and if you're doing if you want if you download skins and that put them in the skins if you download docklets put in the docklet uh yeah so see that's that one I've got so much icons it's not funny I just download them all from the um, rock doc website so then just paste it in here And yeah, uh, it should be there. Yeah, there it is. And then if to get it onto your dock, right click icon settings. I'm just going to rush through this bit. Yeah, once it loads, my computer is not the fastest thing in the world. Um, okay. Uh, volume. So, what if we save it? Yeah, volume. There it is. Go OK. And there it is. OK. I hope you like this tutorial.